One of the assumptions we make about Samson is he was a big guy. That was the source of his strength, right? That's how he was able to accomplish these great feats. Well, no, it makes much more sense to assume that Samson was the average size of an adult male in his time. Why? Because no one could figure out the source of his strength. If he'd been like one of the strong men who would compete in those competitions today, lifting and throwing heavy objects, no one would wonder where his strength came from. But they couldn't figure out Samson's source of strength, which lends the to lends credence to the idea that he was just an average sized guy. Samson's strength was a gift of God. It was symbolized in the long hair, the uncut hair that he had, but his strength was entirely the spirit of God stirring within him. It was the word and the promise of God that was the source of Samson's strength. It was not something in him. Now, Samson's weaknesses were all his own, but the strength he had came from God. And it's so different with us. You know, Paul says, when we're weak, then we're strong. When we're weak in ourselves, then we're strong in Christ, the word of God for us. Our strength is not from ourselves. Our strength comes from the God who loves us, the God who gives us his word and his promise to be with us and to carry us through the struggles that we face in life.